Hello everyone, it's me, Chopper, and if you're wondering where I am right now, this is basically just my grandpa's house, if you're wondering what's up with all the Native American stuff, well, not, not only do I think, not only do I think, he's, well, he's really into, he's not into Native American stuff, but I also think that he comes, you know, he comes a bit from a Ned's purse religion. Well, anyways, this is my first 4th of July special that I've ever had. So, and I'd like to get at least a cup. I'd like to get at least, how about five likes on this video? If you, if you think, give me a like showing, and if you think any of these names are super duper weird or funny, Give me a like and put the comment and put a comment in the description. Oh wait, not in the in the comment area, saying which one you think is weird. I'm gonna do a little bit of laundry, Michael. So, oh, sorry. Way I, the way I want you to is weird is just based off of the name of the firework. Okay. So I have this gigantic box of fireworks here, and um, yeah, this thing costed like fifty bucks. And it's and the rental price on this was a hundred sixty something bucks, but due to the sale, it was reduced by a lot. Well, anyways, again, gigantic box of fireworks, and what I'll be doing today is just showing you the cover of each of these fireworks. I'm not gonna l be lighting every single one of them off, just because I want to save them for Fourth of July, so that I can then do a video then. If my grandpa will allow me to. So. So. We're going to be starting with the ones here. And. Work our way down to. These ones which I think are the weirdest ones. So. This one over here. We have some solar flares. Yeah. Cool. It says exclusive. I guess that just means that, well, um, I guess that just means that it's exclusive to this box. It's exclusive to this box. So you can't get solar flares anywhere else, like in any other box. Yeah. Cool. And next up, we have a flashing fountain. We have another one over here, too. We have two. And we have these, and for some reason, these, but all for some reason called Flashing Fountain. Try it. I'm gonna get in trouble with this thing. Hmm. Gonna be as good as it gets. Next up, we have a rose blossom. I think it goes here, actually. It doesn't. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry about this. Um, having a bit of trouble putting some of the fireworks away. So we have these rose blossoms here, and there's more to come. There's also this jitterbug, and as I said before, this flashing fountain. We have these June bugs. Oh, and um, before we get to the rest, I just want to say these smoke balls here did not come with this box. No, did not come in this box. Just saying. 
to... I know what these do. You basically light them, and then they release a certain color of smoke based off of what color the ball is. Green will release green, blue will release green, so far and so forth. Next over here we have the Bite Me. Neat. And of course these say emits showers of sparks. So you might want to stand back when lighting these. Then there's the Northern Light. Which this picture is probably based off of Aurora Borealis, aka Northern Lights. Finally found the northern in the northern hemisphere in Canada. Which means people oh, Americans like me will rarely ever see it. Is that already? What? It's already three fifty. Oh it's three fifty? Go ahead. Well anyways. Sorry for that interruption, my my I was just telling me that it's 350 right now. But we have this Dixie Dust. And we can see a whole bunch of stuff showering this what I think might be the Titanic. I don't even know. There's the Pyro Fan. Gold Dust, which I think is a weird one. <laughs> and then there's also Enemies, which shows two. Yeah, two cowboys fighting each other. <coughs> I can. So here we have a bunch of um, here we have a bunch of seven foot um, seven inch fountains. Here we have a razzle dazzler. Cool. Then we have a gigantic mystery geyser. Then we have the Freedom 76. And finally of these four is the Silver Spangler. Cool. Next we have Sparkling Glory. I can get this one. I mean, look at the picture. I can get how this is a firework. But there are some more that are just plain weird. We have the bright fire, which I can get since getting hit by uh, get, and touching a spark can actually burn you. And fire burns. Next up, we have red hot. And you can see a whole bunch of chili peppers. Again, I can get this one, since chili peppers are hot, and sparks are hot. Next, we have Half Pint. Oh, and if you're wondering what this just means, it basically just means that the, um, that the fuse will just glow in the dark. At least, I think. And now... I'm going to show these two last, just because they're just really weird. Next, we have uh, Global Lights. I can get this, and sparks create light. Then we have Pulsive. And second to last, we have On Your Marks. I don't get this one, except for perhaps the rocket that's on the tortoise here. But again, I don't even get it. I don't even get how that tortoise is even holding a match on him by his tail. That just plain don't make sense. And finally, the weirdest one of all, Cat Daddy. It's a, it's a freaking Cat Daddy. So, yeah, this is my gigantic box of fireworks. Hope you liked the vid- Hope you liked the video, and be sure to comment down, down below which of these fireworks- um, Which of these fireworks do you think was, uh, was the weirdest one based off of its name? Me, personally, it's Cat Daddy. I mean, come on! Why would a Cat Daddy have to be a firework? Come on!
Why? Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and until... Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. Um, be, be sure to leave a like if you did. But if you didn't, that's okay, too. Besides, I don't have very many YouTubers anyway. I have only 14. Well, until next time. Bye.